guys, welcome back to my channel, and today, as you can see, I'm not wearing makeup, which means, for the first time in a very long time, a makeup tutorial, and what's more exciting is it's for fall. I just wanted to do an updated fall makeup tutorial, and basically kind of like my go-to, feeling very fall, gonna go out and do some pumpkin picking, upping. I want to show you guys what I've been doing recently with my makeup, because I really feel like my makeup game recently has been really good. I really wanted to show you guys some tips and tricks of what I've been doing to make my skin very flawless looking and lasting all day. And if you'd like to see how I got this look right here, continue watching. The first thing I do to just kind of help the skin settle a little bit, priming my skin with this Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Basically, I feel like this kind of even evens out my skin and hydrates it. So something new I've been priming my eyelids with is this MAC um, Paint. Basically, I just go in with my finger. Some people use brushes, but for me that takes too long. So I just go in with my finger and then I put that all over my lid. What I really like about it is the coverage of it. So it's, I don't put it just on the eyelid and up. I will make sure I get into like where I have really bad dark circles right here next to my nose and up. So I really work that in and I use my finger to blend it out. I'm not going super hard, but at the same time I'm making sure it's blended in. I don't want any streaks or anything, and that's what's that's also nice about using your finger. You don't really get streaks, and I kind of I'm doing like a little patting motion. Any white shade will do. Um, if you don't, I always say like recreate looks with like the same colors. You know, it doesn't have to be the same exact brand. Um, so I'm just taking this light one. I might I might um, mix it in a little bit with vanilla from the perfect face, and then I'm going to put that all all over my lid and up in here. You definitely want to get it everywhere. Setting your primer helps eyeshadows blend together. For eyes, basically I'm doing the same look I did before. I take any copper shade. I'm taking this one. This is from my Morphe 35K um, palette. I'm going to take Max Fix Plus Spray. Now, what's important about when you spray a shadow, don't immediately put it on. Kind of air it out like this a little bit. It makes it a little bit more stickier and pigmented than just applying it wet. Once it's dry, I set it in the middle of the eyelid, all over the base. I don't, I'm not going too much into the tear duct. I'm just kind of leaving it on the base of the eye. I'm going to be taking a blending brush as I focus on the edges and I just blend it back and forth. I'm going to dip this brush that I just used to blend out back into that same copper shade, placing it down in the crease a little bit more. I'm going to be going into my Naked Heat palette. I'm taking He Devil in with this Fugo, which is a darker red shade right there. Taking kind of like this oval shape brush, I'm taking a gold shade, which is also from my Morphe 35. K palette. So here is the eyes done. So again, I'm going to be taking my green Smashbox primer. I'm taking my Smashbox photo finish and the clear one. They've been working really well together. I have changed, I have really changed up my makeup routine. So I nowadays, let me spell the coffee, not touched my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in maybe a month now yes almost a month now I have not touched it once I got the Estee Lauder double wear foundation basically inspired by Allison um, for a fellow on Instagram holy crap guys this foundation is amazing I will go more into detail with this on my Favorites, I'm not lying, this stuff lasts all day and I am so impressed. When I, It looks flawless at the end of the day. Like I've never had, I've never, cause like the Born This Way I would look oily and greasy and it would be falling off at the end of the day. Nuh uh, not with this stuff. The only thing, the only bad thing I have to say about it is that, where that pump at though? I'm gonna pay $42 and where's my pump? Come on, we should not have this issue anymore. Makeup is a thing. We should be having pumps. Like, I shouldn't. That's my only thing. <laughs> I 
I am done with my foundation. First of all, doesn't that look so good? I know, I know, I know. What I do is I get ready my powder. I'm doing this with my clients too. I just get powder ready. Cause once you start doing under eye, you don't want that stuff to crease. So I have been getting ready, like I prepare myself cause I don't want no creases. So the powder I've been using recently is the Perfect Face and Cream Puff. What I like about it is it really sets thinly. Um, the only thing though is if you let it bake, you're gonna have terrible flashback. So um, I sit on there for a very short time and then I wipe it away, which you will see. It's hard to conceal And now I place this in a lot of new places and I can explain why I place them there. So of course I place it once on my, one on my nose, my chin, right here. And then a new place I've been putting it is right here on my smile lines. the side without the highlight right there and then so I go underneath like usual and then what I do is I take this and kind of blend it up into I take a little bit out and then I blend it upwards and then out like I already see such a difference I don't know if you guys can I just dabbed into my powder and I let this sit usually I will set the rest of my face so I take my stay matte Rimmel powder my favorite not forgotten that's everywhere where I didn't highlight so I set kind of like right here on the forehead and then everywhere else Dominic turned on the brightness a little bit so you can see it a little bit better I just realized it was super duper bright but I think it's pretty much set I'm going to wipe away the powder okay now, I want you to see something. So do you see how like all this one, I'm starting to look at myself, but I'm trying to see if I can explain it the way you guys are gonna see it. I don't know if you can see this, but this whole side is like one. You know what I mean? Like it all goes up as one, but this side, it's like it's light, nothing, and then light again. You know what I mean? And I smile, that's a lot more prominent than that. And even when I just rest my face, you see this but over here you don't that like blows my mind and like one then like highlight like concealer you you know what i mean i feel like i was very like here's where you place concealer but now i feel like i'm a lot more like one color i don't know how to explain this very well i learned this from kim kardashian not really i mean i was confused because she was like I highlight my smile lines and i was like what i was like what is she does she mean like she literally puts shimmery highlight on it and then I was like, no, that would be so stupid. So then I just kind of was like, what if I put a light concealer on it? And I did it. I was like, yeah, she's right. Another powder that I've been using a lot is Derma Blend. Um, and I will just swipe it right there. I let that kind of set for a little bit. I take my Hula Light, which I now use instead of that dark one because that one was way too dark for me. I am done with that. I again will take my big fluffy brush. In a circular motion, I wipe away the white powder. Cause that kind of blends it more into the skin. Um, a lot of people be like don't move it and step down, but I notice when people do that, for me, it leaves too much of like shoe pop powder there. Like you can see it, so I kind of blend it. Um, I don't blend it upwards, I just blend it into the skin of where it already is. So just wiping it down because I feel like you see too much of, oh, is she baked there? Hervana is my go-to blush right now. And I just kind of pat it in. I've been trying to wear blush more. I've been trying to really like let myself be like, okay, Megan, let's wear blush today because I hate wearing blush. Perfect. It's just a little bit, just a little bit. Nothing too much. I'm going to be taking Heat Devil again. Use, is this brow definer or yes brow definer which is like the thicker one in medium brown got Carly Bible's um, palette recently for highlighting I mean I know it's so weird Megan highlighting what two shades right here I mix them I just go back and forth 
and then I highlight my nose like who am I um I just highlight down the bridge of my nose like that do kind of like the side right here and I do it in a swirly motion so it blends into the skin yeah isn't that crazy Megan like highlighting her face I don't know, I just recently have gotten into it. My favorite mascara at the moment is Motives Mascara. By I have to do is lips. This you can go many different ways. I've been loving the red lipstick with this look. So um, I have a super dark one, which I don't think I'm gonna do because it makes me look really white. But I have this one called Exotic that I really like. I think it's super similar to Kristen um, from Kylie Cosmetics, but I completely lost that. Oh well. This is the final look. I hope you guys are doing great. I know I'm super busy with being a senior in high school, working two jobs, and trying to get by, but I will try to, with every spare second I have, I will try to film. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!